Once there was king who was justice-loving and cared for his subjects. He was religious by nature and used to worship and remember God with great reverence. One day God pleased with his worship, appeared in front of him and said, I am very happy with you. Tell me do you have any desires? King who loved his subjects said, I have everything given by you. There is all kind of happiness and peace in this kingdom by your grace. Still, I have only one wish that, just as you blessed me by appearing in front of me, in same way bless all my subjects, please also give them a chance to see you. It is not possible, God tried to explain, but King who loved his subjects started insisting to God. Eventually God had to agree to his request and said, Okay, tomorrow bring all your subjects to top of mountain, and they will be able to see me, meet me. Hearing this, King was very pleased, and God. Announcement was made in whole kingdom that, Tomorrow everyone should gather at foot of mountain and fro there, all will go to top of mountain with King, to get glimpse of God, as God himself will be present there. Next day, King started walking towards the top of mountain, with all his subjects and relatives. On the way, all saw a mountain covered with copper coins. Some people from among subjects started running towards it. Wise King alerted everyone that no one should pay attention to these things, because you are all going to meet God. Don't leave once in a lifetime chance for these copper coins. But some people who were possessed by greed ran towards the hill containing copper coins and started walking towards their home after taking bundles of coins. People were thinking in their mind, first I should collect these coins. I can meet God some other time. Seeing this, King proceeded with sad heart. After walking some distance, gleaming mountain of silver coins appeared. This time also, some of remaining people started running towards that side and made bundle of silver coins and started walking towards taking their home. People were thinking, such an opportunity does not come again and again. I cannot get so many silver coins again, but God can be found some other time. Similarly, after walking some distance, a mountain of gold coins was seen. Now all the people remaining in the people and the relatives of the king also started running towards that side. Like others, they also carried bundles of coins to their homes. Now only the king and queen were left. The king started saying to the queen, Look how greed controlled them. They lost the chance to meet God for these worldly things. They do not know the importance of meeting God. What is the wealth of the whole world in front of God? It is true. Queen supported the king's words. He started moving forward with queen. After walking some distance, king and queen saw shine coming from a mountain. When they looked toward it, they saw that it was filled with diamonds. Now even queen couldn't resist. She ran toward that mountain, leaving king behind. She started making bundles of diamonds and kept collecting as if she was trying to get every single one to take with her. Seeing this, the king felt very guilty and disillusioned. With a very sad heart, the king went ahead alone. There God was really waiting for him standing. Seeing the king, the god smiled and asked, Where are your people and your loved ones? I have been eagerly waiting for them to meet them. The king bowed his head in shame and self-condemnation. Then God explained to the king, Those who consider material worldly attainment more than me in their life, they cannot see me or meet me. Not only that they are also deprived of my affection and grace. Learning the living beings who take refuge in the God with their mind, intellect and soul, and leaving all worldly relations, consider God as their own. Only then, they become dear to God.